is 10 volts per meter sine 10 pi x minus omega t. First of all, from this form, what do we know? We know that the amplitude of the electric field, that is E max, is 10 volts per meter. It's this. We also know that the wave travels in the x direction. How do you know that? Because of x here. It means it travels in the x direction. What is the wavelength? This number here, 10 pi, we said this is what you call k, sine kx minus omega t. We said that this number k is 2 pi over lambda. So that lambda is 2 pi over 10 pi, which is 0 0.2 meters. What is the frequency? The frequency f is c over lambda, because the speed of light or the speed of electromagnetic wave c is just lambda. So C is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 0 0.2 meters. So that's 1.5 times 10 to the 9 hertz. It's also called 1.5 gigahertz or gigahertz. This is the frequency. And this is like in the micro wave sort of region. And C, what is the amplitude of the magnetic field? The magnetic field B, always its magnitude is E over C. So B max, which is the amplitude of the magnetic field, is E max over C. E max is 10 volts per meter. And C is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So this is 3.33 times 10 to the minus 8 Tesla, which is the SI units for the magnetic field. And that is it. I uh, thank you for watching.